Uh, hi, my name is Evan Burke. I'm a second year uh, fiction MFA student. And I ha originally had a couple of more creative ideas for this. I was going to go interview some people, um, but those didn't really come off. And then I kind of realized I was outside the parameters of the assignment. Um, so I did what artists are not supposed to do and played it safe. Um, so I'm just going to sit in my apartment. And I guess my plan is to kind of talk about my experience overall in uh, English 579, Living Writers, um, just for any prospective students out there. Uh, because I came into this class because I needed it as a requirement, as a fiction MFA. I needed two kind of nonfiction classes, and I heard this was interesting, but I didn't know much about it, and so I kind of signed up for it on a whim. Um, but it turned out to be really enlightening um, for someone who doesn't really read a lot of poetry uh, ever. <laughs> Having been forced to read a lot of Shakespeare in high school, I kind of uh, left the genre a while ago, and I haven't come back. Um, but I just I I loved it honestly. Like I I was able to connect with my father on a level that we haven't in a long time because of this class. One of the the books we read was this uh, this kind of novella. Um, by this author, Lance Olson, called Always Crashing in the Same Car. It's basically a kind of strange fictional biopic of David Bowie in the way where someone, the author, is kind of talking to Bowie about his life, and you're not really sure what's, what's reality and what isn't. Um, and when I told my dad about it, uh, he told me for the first time that you know Bowie was his first ever concert when he was 14 years old. Cincinnati, Ohio, back in, I think, 77, um, or 73, or something like that, I forget. <laughs> um, and we talked about it for, like, 45 minutes, about his journey, you know, up through adulthood with music, and what Bowie meant to him in his life, and how devastated he was when he died, and I didn't even, I didn't know any of this. I had never talked to him about it. I didn't listen to Bowie. Um, I've sort of discovered him post that book. Um, but we were able to connect on a level that we hadn't before, and I was able to recommend this book to him and then share it with him. Um, and it was just really gratifying because that's the first thing I've done in the program that we've really connected on it on that level. Um, and we also, I mean, we got someone back in the program this semester named Andrew Stewart, whose novella is being published, and he's an actual graduate from the MFA program, and it was amazing to actually get to talk to him and ask him questions about his time here and what he's done since and the writing process. Um, it's just really, really helpful for someone who wants to be an author um, to kind of get that. And I was able to also get a lot about writing process talking to all the poets that we've had. You know, Manuel Paul Lopez and Rick Barrow and uh, Naoki Fujimoto and Elizabeth Houston. You know, these are authors I'd never heard of, uh, with, you know, works that I would never have normally picked up or even looked at. Um, but I was able to gain so much for myself just in the way that they explore like the form of writing and what kind of barriers can be broken and what, what can be used. Um, and kind of as a kind of standard fiction person myself, I, I didn't really ever even think to attempt that. Um, and that was really great. I just, I also think like the diversity of the authors that come in every semester, like gender, race, age, kind of profile, I, I guess, um, people in connection with the program coming back, people coming to the program for the first time, people, you know, zooming in from overseas to talk to us. Um, it was all just really, really helpful in a way that I kind of wasn't expecting. Um, and I guess I would just, I just wanted to put this out there to kind of encourage people to, to look beyond, you know, whatever zone they're in. So if you're an undergraduate, English, non-English, but you need a credit, um, if you're a fiction MFA and you need a credit, um, I highly, highly recommend this class. I think it's really, really helpful. Um, and I guess that's it. Yeah, I just, 
I just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed um, my time here. And uh, yeah, so thanks. <laughs>